Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about pelicans. Did Deacon Bob just say pelicans? Is he spending too much time alone during this quarantine? Well, before you think that I've completely gone off the deep end, I invite you to sit back, relax, and learn a thing or two about this interesting bird that has fascinated the imagination of Christians for centuries. Pelicans are a familiar bird to those of us who live in Albert Lee. Each spring, they return from warmer climates to make Fountain Lake, Albert Lee Lake, and Pickerel Lake their summer home. Pelicans are interesting birds. They can grow up to be six feet in size. Why, that's the size of a large human being. In flight, with their wings fully expanded, their wingspan can reach 10 feet wide. They are unmistakable creatures due to their long, distinctive beaks, and under their beaks is their unusually large throat that is used to catch fish. They are avid fishermen that fill their three-gallon capacity throat with both water and fish, and then they strain the water out of their beaks so that they can swallow their catch of the day. Young pelicans are fed by their mothers, who, after catching several fish, will fly back to their nest, where she opens wide her throat and allows her children to stick their beaks into her mouth, where they eat their fill. The image of the mother pelican feeding her vulnerable little baby pelicans gave rise to an ancient legend that was perpetuated by early Christians. The legend was that in time of famine, the mother pelican would wound herself, striking her breast with her sharp beak in order to feed her young with her blood to prevent their starvation. Another version of this legend tells that the mother fed her dying young with her own blood in order to revive them from death, but in turn lost her own life. The story has become a rich symbol of the church describing self-sacrifice and charity. Given this tradition, one can easily see why the early Christians adapted it to symbolize the sacrifice offered to each of us by Jesus. The pelican symbolizes Jesus our Redeemer who gave us his life for our redemption through his suffering and death. The physical abuse he suffered drew blood, which he then freely shed for each of our salvation. We who were dead to sin have found new life through the blood of Christ. In our worship services, Jesus continues to feed us with his body and blood given to us in Holy Communion. Throughout the centuries, the image of the mother pelican feeding blood to her babies, a symbol of self-sacrifice and charity, has appeared in both art and in literature. Reference to the pelican and its Christian meaning are found in the Italian Renaissance author Dante Allegrini's Paradiso. This is a section of his larger work, The Divine Comedy, where he refers to Christ as our pelican. The British playwright William Shakespeare makes reference to the image in his play, Hamlet, where he wrote, To his good friend thus wide I'll ope my arms, and like the kind life-rendering pelican repast them with my blood. The image of a mother pelican feeding her baby pelicans has been the subject of numerous works of visual art throughout the ages. These pieces are often referred to as the pelican in her piety. They have been reflected in paintings, carvings, sculpture, jewelry, and even architecture. A famous portrait of Queen Elizabeth I portrays the queen wearing a piece of pelican inner piety jewelry above her left hand. A close-up of this piece depicts the telltale image of the mother pelican with droplets of blood. This portrait of the queen was a reassurance to her British subjects that the queen, like a mother pelican, would sacrifice herself for her country if necessary. This image should be familiar to those of us who attend Grace Lutheran as well. Carved in relief on the lid of our baptismal font is a similar image of the mother pelican feeding babies her blood. If you haven't seen it, I invite you to step closer once this quarantine lifts and look at it for yourself. It's a constant reminder to us that through the waters of baptism, we are safely protected by God, who, like a mother pelican, will go to all lengths to assure our eternal salvation. So in this Holy Week, where we focus on the suffering and death of Jesus, I hope you will think about this message. Remembering that Jesus, like a mother pelican, loves us all so deeply that he was willing to sacrifice his life in order that we might have life. Blessings to you and your family.